Hi Woodlands, school is out and summer is here. With the kids at home, we will have lots of fun crafts to do this summer to let their creative juices flow. For this week's craft, we're gonna make a tin can windsock. Turn an old can into a beautiful outdoor decoration in just a few easy steps. All you will need is an empty tin can, acrylic paint or outdoor spray paint, a hammer and a nail, tape or a hot glue gun, scissors, streamers and or ribbon, yarn, and markers, paint, stickers, anything you wanna decorate your tin can with. For the first step, you wanna take a tin can of any size and make sure that you clean it out well with hot soapy water and then remove the label. After that, you want to paint your can of any color. You can either use outdoor spray paint or acrylic paint and let dry before you go any further. For the second step, we wanna make a hole in the can so that we can use it to have a hanger for our tin can windsock. To do this, you want to take a nail and a hammer and hammer the nail into the can to create the hole. Before we go any further, this craft needs adult assistance. Be sure to never stick your hand inside the can as edges can be sharp. Have an adult hammer the nail into the can because safety is of the utmost importance. Now that we have the hole, we can create the hanger to hang our tin can windsock. What you can do is you can take string or twine and feed the twine through the hole, but give it a lot of slack because we don't want to put our hand in and pull it out. Just wait until you see the string at the other end. Okay, it's right there. So pull it through, and then we can make a knot at the end. Tie it. And there you have your hanger. So then we can cut off the string. And now we are ready to decorate our can. Now you can use Sharpie. Sharpies show up really well on tin cans or any stickers, um, cut out papers that you would like to use, bows, anything to create your can. Be creative. This can be anything you want it to be. Once you've decorated your can, you can now move on to the last step, which is adding the streamers. These streamers can be any length that you would like. If you want a more flowy wind can, you can make a longer streamer. Either streamers or ribbon would work perfect with this craft. Just make them all the same size. Now, by using hot glue or tape, you want to place your streamers on the inside of the can. But again, make sure you have adult assistance because these can be these edges can be very sharp. So just put a little piece of glue on the inside or tape if you want to use tape. And then press the streamer. Hold it a little bit to make sure it's secure. And then between each streamer, you want to have an even amount of space in between each. You now have your windsock that is ready to be hung outside and you can let the wind take over. You can get creative with your windsocks. July 4th is coming up, you can do a patriotic theme or kind of do your own take on the windsock. On the next episode of Crafting with Kara, keep those pesky mosquitoes away with the homemade mosquito trap. Happy crafting!